Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in a series that aims to assist you with using and understanding the Velux plugin for ARCHICAD. In this episode, you will learn to configure flashing, lining and installation products for sloped roof windows as single installations. We will cover combination installations in the next episode. After inserting the window into the roof, open the Product Configurator and navigate to the Flashing tab. This flashing dialog has many options, which we will explain one by one. The options in the top refer to the window configuration, which was done in the previous step. Here we can go to the Window tab, change the Product Family, Product Line, Frame and Sash Material, Glazing, Cladding and Window Size. The roofing material is important for the choice of flashing. Therefore, we should start by selecting our roof covering type. The first option is for roofs with high-profiled roofing materials that have a height up to 12 cm. The classic European clay tile is one example of such a high-profiled roofing material. The second option is for low and flat profiled roofing materials up to 4 cm in height, such as roof felt or flat profiled slate shingles. The third option is for traditional and click metal roofs with standing seam. Fourth is for PV integrations. This is used when there are PV panels in combination with the window product. This icon lets us choose the mount level, either the standard mount level or 40 mm deeper. Recessed installations offer a sleeker, more streamlined appearance. But note that not all roofing materials are compatible with recessed mount. The structural opening size required for the window will differ depending on which flashing kit is used. Define the roof covering thickness for the window to be placed correctly in the model views. The thickness is the roof covering thickness as modelled and there are two ways to find the thickness. One is by right-clicking on the roof and selecting Edit Selected Composite. Or we can measure the thickness in a section view. In the newer versions of ARCHICAD, there can, in some cases, be issues with cut surfaces being displayed incorrectly. Like the section of the view here. If this is the case, go to the Window Settings dialog, open the tab Floor Plan and Sections, and remove the tick in Override Objects Attributes. Now the section displays correctly. Again, measure from the bottom to the top of the covering like so, and enter the distance in the input field inside the product configurator. Right here. This will adjust the window so it sits correctly in the roof. Now we should select the connection type to the roof covering from this drop-down menu here. The most common type for high-profiled roofing materials is the EDW. The most common for flat roofing materials is the EDL. If in doubt, then ask your local Velux supplier. Then select one of the available flashing materials and if the option allows it, an apron colour. We can choose to remove the flashing entirely by clicking the icon in the bottom left. This box lets us include the frame insulation package BDX 2000, which is recommended for most purposes as it ensures a tight seal and insulation. OK, 
OK, now let's look at the lining. Start by choosing a preset lining type. We recommend the first option, which is a prefabricated standard Velux lining with sharp lines to match contemporary styles. However, there is also the option to manually configure the lining with custom settings. We can modify the angle, extension and thickness of the lining by modifying the points 1 through 5. One defines the angle of the top surface. We can choose to make it horizontal, perpendicular to the window, or we can put in an angle for wider or narrower opening. Two is for the angle of the bottom surface, and here we have similar options. Three and four defines the side angles, left and right of the window. 5 includes options for the frame extension. The last field is associated with the thickness of the lining material. This can only be modified through customization as the Velux lining only comes in 10mm thickness. The BBX vapor barrier collar is standard for the Velux lining products. If you choose to customize a lining, then you can add the vapor barrier here which is recommended as it is 100% vapor tight and prevents condensation. This icon in the bottom left removes or includes the lining bezel. And this icon lets us remove or add the entire lining. The lining product code is displayed in the lower right. We will end this video by looking at the installation products. This tab gives an overview of the different components that make up our window. We can navigate to the different configurations by clicking the shortcuts marked with three dots. The BDX insulation package we saw under flashings includes the BFX pleated underfelt collar that forms a tight seal between the roof window and the felt underlay, as well as a drainage gutter and a BDX frame insulation collar. If you want to learn more about the different insulation products, then you can click the icons here, which will take you to a relevant web page. This concludes our tutorial on how to configure flashing, lining and installation products for sloped roof windows. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Building Simulation Tools, for more tutorials and updates.